in this video I want to go over some questions on uh, multiplying and dividing complex numbers in polar form. So let me talk about some conventions uh, and then you can understand how we write. Okay, so, so this is a y-axis and this is your x-axis. Uh, okay, so this is your x-axis, okay, or this is your real arm, not y-axis, we're calling this the z-axis or the imaginary axis. Let me talk about what is this Z1. Z1 is 18 cis 2.56. So this is in radians and this is also in radians. So I hope you know that uh, pi radians, I'll write only pi, pi radians is 180 degree. Okay, and pi by 2, pi by 2 is 90 degree. Okay, so if you want to say this in, uh, okay, so 18 cis 2.56 is, so if you want to write this as decimal, so this is 3.14 radians, is 80 degrees, so 180 degree, and 1.57, 1.57, radians is 90 degree. So if you say times this by uh, so it's 270 degree, if you change this, 270 degree is 3 pi by 2. And 3 pi by 2 as a decimal is 4.71. Okay, so now there's a convention to write the angle, the radian angle or degree between 0 and 180. So if it's in the first, first this is your first quadrant, this is your second quadrant, this is your third quadrant, and this is your fourth quadrant. So if a complex number is in the first or the second quadrant, it will be the, the angle, the argument, would be between zero and, so, so let me call this zero, because this is a zero, zero degree, or zero radians. This is 180, okay. So that is 180 degrees, 3.14. So you can call this, you uh, refer the angle this way, that is clockwise in this quadrant, or you can refer this way, which is anti-clockwise. This is positive and this is negative. Okay, so I think I have confused you too much, so let me delete this whole thing. Okay, so let me first explain what is 18 cis 2.56? 18 cis 2.56, you have to understand the graphical meaning of that. This means it's a complex number. Say, this is your real arm, and this is your imaginary arm. So 18 cis 2.56, so this is zero, this is 3.14, this is 1.57. So we are talking about a complex number at a distance of 18. So this is not drawn to scale. So we are saying this complex number, say this is your complex number Z, at a distance, so this is your origin, this is your O origin. This distance from zero, so from origin to Z is 18, 18 units. And this angle is 2.56 radian. That's the simple meaning of that. 2.56 radian. This is your Z1. This is your Z1. And if you want to do Z2, Z2 is at a distance of 6. Okay, this will be one third of this and an angle of negative 1.44. So this is 0. So let me say this is 0 degrees so 0 radians. This is, uh, you can call this 3.14 this way. If you're going anti-clockwise, this is 3.14, or you can also call this minus 3.14. Oh, not 3.14, sorry, it's 1.57, sorry. Because phi, yeah, sorry, 3.15 was right, so this is 3.14, and this is minus, you can go, if you go this way, it is minus 3.14. This point, when a 
if you're reaching this point, this is minus 1.57, half of pi is, three, half of 3.14 is one, uh, 1.57, and here you are reaching 1.57. Okay, I hope I'm not confusing you. I'm talking about the, uh, the circular motion. So just making a guess, 1.44 is between zero and minus 1.57. And it has a distance of, radial distance of six. So 1.44 will be about somewhere here. Yeah. I'm not sure, so this is a guess. So this is only an understanding, a graphical understanding of these complex numbers. So this is your Z2, which is, has got a distance from year to year, the, the distances or the, uh, the distance from the origin to Z2 is six. And this angle, as it is going underneath the x-axis is called minus 1.44. That's what the whole thing is. Okay, so this is two complex number in the argand plane. Okay, so let me write the two formulas that again you should know to multiply and divide complex number. C1, if Z1 is R1 cis theta1, and R Z2 is R2 cis theta 2. Z1 times Z2 would be R1 times R2 cis theta 1 plus theta 2. I have made a video on this. Okay, hopefully I don't remember exactly, but you can watch my video. I think I made a video on this. And Z1 divided by Z2 using the same logic is R1 divided by R2 cis theta 1 minus theta 2. It's a very easy formula to remember. When you're multiplying complex numbers, you multiply the modulus. You multiply, this is the modulus. R1 and R2 are the modulus. You multiply the modulus and add the arguments. And when, div when you're dividing complex numbers, you divide the comp uh, you divide the modulus and take away the argument in the same order. So, using this formula, so let's do first question. What is Z1 times Z2? So let me use red color. So Z1 times Z2. Using this formula would be. R1 times R2, so which is 18 times 18 times 6, cis theta 1, which is 2.56, plus take away 1.44. Okay, and this is equal to 18 times 6. This is 60 plus 48, which is 108, cis. Let me use my calculator. So this is 18 times 6, just to confirm, 308 and 2.56, take away 1.44 and 1.12. That's acceptable. So this is 1.12. As a convention, this argument is has to be between 0 and 3.14 or 0 and, or 0 to minus 3.14. So this answer is right. Okay, so let me do the next question. Let me delete. I want to highlight and delete. Hopefully, yes. Okay, the second question is z squared. So z squared, z, okay, z1 squared. So let me write here, z1. Okay, I had, okay, I need to change the questions. So I tried to copy from a different book without changing. So this is a Z1 squared. Okay, so let me write this properly. So this is Z1 squared. And this is Z1 divided by Z2. This is Z1 divided by Z2. And the last question is Z2 squared over Z1. Okay. 
So z1 squared, z1 squared, you want to find uh, that is 18 cis 2.56 times 18 cis 2.56. So using this rule, so this is 18 times 18, 18 times 18, cis uh, 2.56 plus 2.56, which is how much? That is, so let me use a calculator, 18 squared, 18 squared is 324. So this is 324 says 2.56 times 2 is 5.12. Okay, now 5.12 is not in the, uh, this is right, there's nothing wrong here. So if you want to understand 5.12, so let me show you graphically so that you understand. So 324 a huge distance 5.12 you're going clockwise so this is three point this is if you're going this way this is 3.14 and this will be 4.71 so 5.12 comes somewhere here so it's suppose it's along this and not again not drawn to scale so this distance is 324 and this angle is 5.12 because you're going above the x-axis because you know you know this is 3.14 and this is 270 degree is 4.71 so 5.12 has to be this but by convention we want this angle we write this angle not this angle in positive if it's greater than 3.14 we write in the negative form so this is this angle is same as from 2 pi, that is 360 degree, if you take away this, you will get this. So this angle, put a minus out. So this angle, if you want to write in the standard form, is 2 pi minus 5.12. This minus is because you're going below the x-axis. And this whole thing is 2 pi, which is 360 minus 5.12. So let me use a calculator to shift pi minus 5.12 which will be put in negative so this is a negative 1.16 so to write in the standard form you write 324 cis minus what was the number minus 1.16 minus 1.16 radians so this is minus 1.16. So what we're saying is, you go to reach this complex number, you have to go a distance of 324 at an angle of minus 1.16. Or the same thing, you can say you go a radial distance of 324 at an angle of 5.12 radians. It's not degrees, sorry, this is radians. 5.12 radians. Okay, so let me finish off with the third question. Okay, so let me highlight it and cancel it. Okay, cancel. And I also want, don't want this. I need to see the formula. So this is C1 divided by Z2. C1 divided by Z2 is uh, what is your Z1? Z1 is 18 cis, 18 cis 2.56 divided by 6 cis, negative 1.44. So, so this is using the formula. So this is Z1, R1 divided by R2. So 18 divided by 6 is 3 cis. 2.56 take away negative 
Okay, so yeah, again, you may have to change it. So this is three sys. Uh, so again, let me use a calculator. So this is 2.56, take away negative 1.44, which is four. Okay, so this is exactly four radians. Now four radians, so again, let me show this graphically. Four radians is in the fourth quadrant. So, uh, so this is a 3.14, so four. So this is your complex number. So this is at a distance of three, and this is four radians. But by convention, we need to describe this. And as you're going anti-clockwise, you have to put a minus 2 pi. That means this full circle is 2 pi minus 4. So from 360, you take over 4, you get this answer. So you go 2 shift pi minus 4 to give you the exact answer. So this is 2.282 dB or negative. Okay, so your answer is, this is right, there's nothing wrong here, so, but we, by convention, this is how you write, minus 2.28, negative 2.28 radians. So this is minus 2.28 radians, this way clock, and clockwise, or anti-clockwise, that's 4 radians.